Hello everybody. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to make a pumpkin patch in Minecraft. Um, so obviously, Halloween season is here, um, and actually, um, the day you're seeing this, at least, you know, the day you're seeing this, you know, the day you're first seeing this maybe, uh, should be Halloween day. So, yeah, this is, uh, perfect for the holidays. So, so yeah, I'm sure many of you have been to a pumpkin patch before, so I'm just going to kind of go through it. So, of course, we got the parking lot here. We have the ticket booth here, uh, like $25 for a ticket. I don't know if that's a real price there, but, uh, and then, of course, we got flower, little flower decorations. We got the little sign here, which I really like. Um, we got uh, some toilets, <laughs> just some porta potties right here. Uh, and then, of course, we got the pumpkins themselves. So uh, we also got these little wagons kind of at the ends here as well. So okay, you can see there's two of them. They're kind of hard to see at first, but once you get up close, you'll see them. Uh, it's just there's so many pumpkins, it's kind of hard to see. But, of course, pumpkins, pumpkins, and more pumpkins. And then, you know, most pumpkin patches will have, like, old trucks kind of lying around. So this is just, like, an old farm truck with, like, pumpkins and hay bales in the back. So kind of makes uh, makes sense, I guess, to put that there. Uh, and then, of course, we have this big barn in here, which I will show you guys how to make this as well in this video. Um, so we got, like, a couple scarecrows out here. We just got, like, some Halloween figures and stuff, more pumpkins. Got it saying Halloween here as well. We got some pumpkin banners, which I'll show you guys how to make in this video. Got some fake spider webs. Um, just overall very nice. Uh, and then, of course, we got, got lights all up above the uh, windows just to really uh, capture the, the feel of the Halloween. Uh, I guess. And then inside the barn we have, um, well, pumpkin pie. <laughs> of course, it's Halloween, or, well, it's a pumpkin patch. Of course there's pumpkin pie. So yeah, like, the cakes are also kind of meant to be pumpkin pies, but these are, well, the cakes are actually meant to be, like, pumpkin pies with, like, uh, whipped cream on them, so that's what those are meant to be. And then we, of course, got the whipped cream bottles here. We got the tables with the cloths over them. Um, got this very nice barn in here. Uh, this is where you can eat your pie on these tables. We got these are plates. Those are the pies themselves. And then this is actually where you can carve pumpkins. So I'm pretty sure most pumpkin patches, you know, there's like an area where you can carve pumpkins. I remember I went to one where you could carve pumpkins and it was like a contest. I didn't win, but well, it was mostly actually it was mostly like a pumpkin painting contest. But uh, I'm sure some uh, um, you can do like carving as well. Um, but yeah, the back is literally the same as the front, so nothing special there. And then of course we have a maze here um, as well. So obviously it's not a it's not a pumpkin patch without a maze. So this is just a corn maze. Uh, it's a bit tricky actually. So, um, but I'll show you guys how to make all of this in this video. So, yeah, um, I've been talking for way too long. Let's just uh, let's just get straight on into this. All right, y'all. So the grid you are gonna need. Uh, to make your pumpkin patch is a very big 126 by 43. Pretty sure um, this is the biggest, or I guess more of the longest grid I've ever made. Well, well actually, I think this, maybe the elementary school was the biggest one. I don't know. But, yeah, this one's still pretty big. So, yeah, you're going to need to make this whole grid. Um, don't, worry about, don't worry about all the little squares inside. Those are um, you know, just for me to lay everything out. You don't got to worry about those. Um, but anyways, um, of course I'll be grabbing materials as we go along, but, um, but yeah, uh, let me zoom this out a bit so you guys can kind of see my full screen. There we go. Without any further ado, let's get into this. So, materials you're going to need, you're going to need grass block, coarse dirt, dirt path, gray concrete, flowering azalea leaves, or just any kind of leaf, any kind of flower, it can be tall or short, whatever, uh, white concrete, yellow wool, and then jungle leaves. So those are what you're going to need for right now. Uh, well, the grass block you really, um... Let's see. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, you really don't need the grass block, but I would definitely get it because it's definitely important. So, uh, oh, actually, actually, you know what? No, you don't need grass block. Actually, go ahead and grab um, spruce fence, or you can do dark oak fence. Really, you can do whatever fence you want. I recommend a dark fence though, just kind of contrast with everything. Um, but yeah, so first things first, you want to go ahead. Now, there's a certain way you want to do this fence. So first off, um, so we're gonna come to the front, right? All right, you're gonna come to this bottom right corner uh, you're gonna put a fence and then you're gonna extend left by one two three four five six seven eight nine all right and then from there from this fence you just want to go up by one two three four five six wait hang on sorry one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 
and then you want to leave a gap going left of one, two, three, four, five. On the sixth block, you want to put a fence and just extend it all the way until you reach the grid. And then from that fence that you made that touches the grid, you want to extend it all the way to the very back of the grid, extend it all the way across, and then extend it back down until it reaches all the way to the end here. Um, obviously, you'll probably hit the end right about here. So, um, but yeah, so once you've done that, you actually want to do two layers of that. All right, so I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. But, but yeah, so that's how you lay out the fence. Obviously, because you got the parking lot, you have the entrance. You know, it's just you got to you, you really you really got to make it. Uh, you know, it's, it's a certain way. There's a certain way you got to do this. Um, and also, in case you guys are wondering, yes, I will do a actual like farm um, tutorial as well. It'll actually be bigger than this. Um, I think it'll be a little wider. I think yeah, it might be wider because I'm gonna put like some fields on the sides. Yeah, so I might. Yeah, and then, yeah, so I might, um, or maybe, I don't know, I still haven't really decided how the farm is going to be laid out, but I know it's going to be somewhat similar to the pumpkin patch, so the pumpkin patch is kind of going to be kind of like the mini farm, but, but yeah, so once you've added your two layers of fence, um, I would just, I would just leave it at two, I probably wouldn't go any taller, because then it's going to look like a prison, <laughs> um, but yeah, once you've done that, uh, let's go ahead and make the parking lot. So with the gray concrete, uh, you want to come over to this fence at the end here, and you just want to dig out one, two, three, four, five, just like that. All right, um, and then you just want to go all the way to the end here, and then do the same thing, dig out five, and then put the gray concrete. All right, and then let me see here, I think it's just five, yeah, so five rows behind that, so five rows of gray. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So just dig out five blocks, or well, yeah, five blocks, and extend them all the way uh, to the end of this gray here, just like that. And then you just want to dig all of this out. Uh, so yeah, pretty simple. Um, also, I know you guys were probably expecting the violet first house to be next, uh, which is right there, that white house there. Um, that will be the next tutorial after this one. I just wanted to get this tutorial done because it's like, you know, it's Halloween. I wanted to do a Halloween, like, holiday build. I'll do the same thing for Christmas as well. I'll probably do some sort of Christmas build. I haven't decided what it will be yet, but uh, I'm sure it'll be something pretty cool. But yeah, um, yeah, Halloween season, you gotta have a pumpkin patch. You know, I know this is a bit late, you know. Um, this is getting released on the day of Halloween. I should, probably should have done this earlier, but busy with school, so, you know, couldn't do it. But yeah, once you've uh, filled all that up, uh, you basically, you then want to just take your white concrete, uh, and you want to come to the very end here, and you don't even have to count, you just do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, yeah, you don't even have to count, you just uh, extend it until it's all the way at, like, at the fence here like this, and then you just put white concrete, um, and then you can actually go all the way to the end here as well, so where this uh, gray concrete is here, and do the exact same thing, again, you don't have to count. And then with your yellow wool, you want to come to the very top of where the white concrete meets the fence here. And you just want to extend whichever side you're on. So if you're on the left side, extend right. If you're on the right side, extend left. Um, so extend the opposite way of, like, the side that you're on. So, so like, I'm on the right side. I'm going to extend left. So that's one, two, three. You're going to take out three blocks and put yellow wool. All right. And then from there, you're going to do a white concrete. You can extend those down later. Uh, it's going to be easier just to put the white concrete like that. All right. And then three yellow. Oops. Uh, one white, three yellow. Oh my gosh, why am I doing this so badly? Oh my gosh. One, oh my gosh, why is there so many holes in the ground? Jeez. Uh, one white, three yellow. One white, three yellow. One white, three yellow. One white, three yellow. One white, and then three yellow. So if you did everything right, it should all be even. All right, and then uh, simply extend um, all the spaces down to the gray concrete. And I'm not going to fill up all the spaces just yet. I might actually do that. Maybe at the end of the video. I don't know. I don't really want to do that right away. I don't know. I just kind of want to get the the entrance and stuff taken care of. Well, I won't do the ticket booth, but I will kind of make, like, the fence, like, an archway um, where, like, the pumpkin signs are. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. But, yeah, so you just extend those down. So, yeah, you can see this little archway right here is what I'm talking about. We're going to make that now. So, all right. So, the first, so, all right. So, what you're going to want to do now is... Um, you're going to want to, first of all, come to this uh, fence at the end here like this. You want to extend it out by one. All right, and then, let me see here. I forgot how to do this, of course. <laughs> all right, so it's right... Oh, okay, yeah, it's literally... Okay, so then... So this fence that you extended for, you want to go up, left, up, left, and then you want to uh, line it up with 
uh, this fence here. So just make sure it's like in line with this fence coming out. Uh, come to this fence right here. You want to go up and then uh, left and then up and then left. And then you want to go up on both sides, and then you should just connect at the top like that. That should be perfect, just like that. And that's how you make that little entryway there. All right. Um, and then next, what you're going to want to do now is uh, you want to come to this last space here. And just beside it, you want to put a row of flowers. Again, it could be tall or short. doesn't matter. Um, I would actually make sure it's shorter, like make sure it can actually go in front of the fence. So like don't put it back here, but like put it kind of like right here where it's in front of this like uh, fence that's like sticking out here. Um, and then you would just want to do uh, two rows of bushes just like that and then uh, flowers at the end of that and then that should be good. That's just a simple flower bush, nothing too crazy. All right. So now what you can do is you can take your dirt path and the dirt path is going to be all over this thing. Like that's going to be a huge percent of this uh, uh, pumpkin patch here. You just want to put dirt path all around here and you can just extend it to the entrance here just to not do a lot. Or you could, uh, uh, well, well, I'll talk about it later. I'll talk about the dirt path later. Also, if you want to go ahead, you can uh, uh, replace the grid color with the with grass or whatever you want. Because um, obviously we, didn't, we, we only needed the fence for the, the uh, or sorry, we only needed the grid for the fence. There we go. I was about to say it the other way around. But yeah, and then of course here you just want to do uh, put dirt path here. I like dirt path for something like this. Because um, if you notice in a lot of uh, pumpkin patches, their paths, there's like a lot of hay on the ground. So the dirt path really um, brings that effect nicely instead of just using regular hay bales. Because re regular hay bales just doesn't look right. So uh, and dirt path, it also is like slightly like in the ground. As you can see, it's kind of like, you know, the, the grass is taller. You know, and I, I quite like that. It kind of separates it a little bit. But um but yeah, and that's what you want to have for that. Obviously, we'll, again, we'll make the ticket booth and the rest of the entrance later. But yeah, so we'll do all the details later. But we want to kind of get everything else taken care of. So um, uh, also go ahead and put uh, flowering azalea leaves in between here. You can go ahead and replace the grid with grass if you want. But I'm not going to do that because I don't feel like doing that. But yeah, so put the leaves in between the two entrances to this uh, parking lot here. And then simply, uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and just do this now just to get this parking lot finished. Uh, we're going to go ahead and dig out all of the spaces, and then we're just going to put um, gray concrete in here just like this. So I'm actually going to turn the camera off for this, but yeah, so literally just dig out all the grass in between the white lines for the spaces and then fill it all up with gray concrete. All right, y'all, now that you have, uh, now that we've taken care of the spaces, we're actually going to go ahead and do all the dirt paths. So... Where we have this path here where the entrance is, you can see all the all of the paths are actually going to be five blocks wide. Um, so basically what you want to do is you can see this path that we have at the entrance. You actually want to go ahead and extend this all the way to the very end. All right, we're going to just make all the paths just, it's going to make things a whole lot easier. And it just makes sense too, you know, so kind of be able to kind of fit everything in. So instead of having to like build around it or whatever, you know, make, you know, make it a lot harder for ourselves, you know, we're just going to make things easier so uh, I'm not gonna fill everything up obviously in the recording I'm just gonna dig everything out just to kind of give you guys an idea but basically um, you want to just dig all this all the way to the end all right and then once you have oh my gosh I am so bad at this make sure you don't dig out underneath the fence um, but yeah this shouldn't take too long um, well, I'll be honest, uh, making all this, all these paths is going to be a little time consuming. I'll be honest with you guys. So I tried not to make this pumpkin patch too big. I had no, I made this originally like in a stream and it was just way too big. Like the maze was like 20 times bigger than that. So uh, I had to like cut it down to this, which I think is a lot better. I didn't want it to be too hard for you guys. Um, all right. And then at the end here as well, just, uh, just across the front, you want to do the same thing. So five, just like that, going all the way to the end. All right, five blocks wide, so from the fence, obviously. All right, and then three, four, five. All right, just make sure it's all, make sure all the paths are five blocks wide. That's the most important thing here. All right, and then once you have dug all this out as well, all righty, you want to just go ahead and um, extend. You want to do the same thing on this other side here. Again, five blocks wide for the path. All right, all right, and then... Uh, you also want to uh, extend it across the back as well, which I'll go ahead and do that uh, in a little bit. Sorry about my camera being out of uh, frame here. I'm holding it between my legs, so it's not uh, it's not easy keeping it in uh, you know not key easy keeping it straight, you know. 
So yeah, that's, uh, that's what you want to have here. So yeah, you just dig all this to the end. Uh, very, very simple. Nothing to it. It's all just digging here, folks. All just digging, folks. Is that how you say it? I think so. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not from Texas, so I don't really. I'm not sure if I said that right. But anyways, yeah. So then again, just extend this all the way to the end, and then again, at the, like I said, at the back, you want to do the same thing. So one, two, three, four, five, and it always must be along the fence, just like this. So the path must always be along the fence. Uh, except there is one path that you know isn't going to be uh, along the fence, and I'll show you guys what that is, uh, or where that'll be um, in a moment. Um, but yeah, not only do I plan to make uh, a farm as well at some point, but I also plan to make like a ranch as well, just kind of like a little different than a farm. But oh wait, there's actually two paths. Never mind. Okay, so the way you want to place these is um, okay. So this is going to be kind of tricky. So basically, you want to come to this fence right here, right? This fence. All right. Uh, and then where you've dug out your path, so just kind of like where this would be a grass block for you guys right here. So like where we've uh, dug out the path here, uh, it's going to be right beside it just like this. So it's actually going to be in the corner of like this front path here and then this right side path like this. So it's just going to be like at this corner here, all right? You want to you wanna leave a gap of, so this is going to be a gap of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. All right, 29, gap of 29. And you actually, you know what? Instead of putting a gap of 29, actually dig out the blocks and place coarse dirt um, because that's what, this is where we're going to put all the pumpkins. So yeah, go ahead and dig all that out and put coarse dirt. Just make that easier. But yeah, once you've made your gap of 29, then uh, right at the end here, you want to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then this is where you want to just dig all this out all the way to the end. And then, of course, there's still another path we have to make. Uh, but that'll be our last path, so you don't have to worry about that one too much. Um, it's just the same as this one. It's going to be the paths that um, go uh, in front of and behind the barn. So, yeah, this is nothing too crazy. So, yeah, you just dig this out. All right, and then you want to go ahead and leave another gap of... Oh, jeez. might be easier to start... Well, actually, no, we can just start here. Okay. So, all right, so we have the path here, right? All right, and then just in this corner here, again, so the path that we just made and then the right path here, uh, this corner right here, you want, uh, so, this, so this corner is gonna be a gap of one and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and then on the 26 block, one, or no, not on the 26 block, sorry, 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 hold on. Jeez, I did, I did this so wrong. All right, not on the 26 block. Um, it's actually going to be on the um, uh, 27th, 28th, 29, 30, 31, 32. It's on the 33rd block. Yeah, so it's on the 33rd block. Yeah, so it's on the 33rd block. Just like that. So on the 33rd block, and then going towards the front of the pumpkin patch, you want to do five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So not going towards the back. Going towards the front is where you want to dig out the rest of the path here by five. All right, and then. Um, and then you just want to dig all that out to the end. And then once you've done all of this, um, you just want to go ahead and fill all this in with the dirt paths. So and that'll get all the paths taken care of. But yeah, so this will be, yeah, so that's the path right there. So yeah, again, and then, um, so yeah, now uh, now what you basically, yeah, so like I said, what you want to do is once you've dig all, dug all that out, you want to fill all that up with dirt paths. All right, y'all, once you have finally filled up all of your paths, um, it's going to make it a whole lot easier to make the rest of everything now. So, um, okay, so first off, now... <laughs> Ooh, excuse me, sorry about that, y'all. Um, so first, okay, so, so remember when... Um, now, you may or may not have placed this row of coarse dirt here. Um, um, if you did, great. If you didn't, um, go ahead and just dig out this entire square right here. So you can see there's going to be a whole square of um dirt or sorry grass right here right so there's going to be two so there's basically there's three whole squares of grass this is what you should have uh so the one at the front and the one at the back you want to dig all that out and place coarse dirt the one in the middle um is actually going to be different because obviously we have the barn here so um yeah that's going to be a bit of a task we may have to actually make the barn first uh, yeah, we're going to probably make the barn first before we actually uh, worry about everything around it. So, um, but yeah, basically first, but before we do the barn, um, I want to kind of get everything else taken care of. 
um, around it. So just go ahead and dig out uh, the uh, again the front the front square of grass and then the back square of grass. Um, don't worry about the middle, um, but the front and back. Just go ahead and dig all that out and then place coarse dirt. All right, y'all. Once you have um, dug out uh, the the front and back uh, squares of grass and filled it up with coarse dirt. Um, the middle um, the middle square you can actually go ahead and dig out. Um, however, this one instead of filling up with coarse dirt, you want to fill like three blocks around, like so three blocks around the edges. So like on each side it's three blocks of podzole is what you want to put uh, all around the edge. So around the edge is three rows of podzole all the way around. And then in the middle, you just want to put uh, spruce wood planks, or you can do dark oak planks. I recommend some sort of dark wood, because uh, that's going to be the flooring for the barn. Uh, so yeah, um, but yeah. once you've uh, went and did that as well, um, that's obviously going to be very time consuming. But once you finally get all that done, um, we're going to go ahead. I'm like, we're actually going to go ahead and do the maze, just to get this out of the way. So, um, so the way that I would do the maze um, is just all around the, the very edge of the square here, of course, dirt. Um, you want to just go ahead and just surround it with jungle leaves. And the reason I chose jungle leaves is that it's not so see-through. And, uh, the little pieces, you can see there's, like, little pieces of stuff in there. Kind of looks like, uh, well, in my hand it looks like corn. Like, I don't know if you can see, but there's, like, these, these yellow bits in here. It kind of looks like corn. So, because obviously most of these mazes are corn stalks. So, that's why I chose that. And obviously, and also you want to make these, uh, leaves pretty tall. So, obviously, no one can just see over the walls. Um, because then it wouldn't really be a challenge, would it? So, I'd recommend making it at least three blocks. So, you can't just, like, so let's say you're in survival. You know, you can't just, like, jump over it and see the other side, so, yeah, it makes it even harder. Um, but obviously, if you're in creative, you can simply just fly over it, but, um, but yeah, obviously, we're just going to assume that this is getting done in survival. So, again, just making all this uh, three blocks tall. Um, now, obviously, I wouldn't uh, extend them up just yet. I'd probably wait until, um, well, I mean, I guess you can do it now that I'm doing it, but, um, but yeah, basically, just extend these up. All right, so now uh, we're basically going to make multiple squares uh, that lead to the middle. Uh, so you want to, so basically one block away, uh, so like one block inward, so like one block from each side um, of the square here, you want to make another square. So this big outer square that we just made, you want to make another square that's one block inward like this. So one block, again, like I said, one block away from each side. And then you want to do the same thing, just like this. So it kind of, so it kind of, kind of, it kind of like gets smaller gradually. All right, and that's what you want to have. Um, this is like the easiest way to make a maze, like any maze. Um, so yeah, you just make uh, a bunch of squares um, until they get smaller and smaller and smaller. All right. Um, oops. Let me just. Yeah. So literally, that's it's so easy for this, uh, and then you can obviously extend these walls up. I'd recommend extending all this up when uh, you're done laying out the maze because it just makes sense to do that. Um, but yeah, this does take a little bit because um, there is a, it's a pretty, it's a fairly big maze. So um, I mean, it's not ginormous. Uh, like I made it before. I actually made a uh, different version of this. It was a lot bigger. Like this thing was like at least 20 times bigger. And I was just like, yeah, no, I'm not making everybody make that. That would take way too long. So yeah. I mean, decided to make this a lot smaller. So yeah, again, so you can see the square is getting gradually smaller until eventually uh, you can't like make any more squares. And that's what you want to have. You want to kind of, it kind of looks like it's getting smaller, uh, which that looks really, really cool. All right. And then what you want to do is you want to first of all make your entrance. Uh, so just digging out a row of uh, grass or sorry, leaves at the end and then or at the front and then at the back, you want to make the exit as well. All right. Obviously uh, you want to make this, you know, a little tricky. So the way to make this maze is that you would probably, um, so here's another way I would do this. So like, so like for each of the squares for like every corner, like, so like, um, so like right here. So at the end, obviously you don't want, you only want like one way to get to the exit. So obviously you don't want to have like numerous ways to get to the exit. You only want like one way probably. So, so for like every, each and every corner here. So like, so like this corner and then for this square, we go to the left corner this square here, we go to the right corner. So just kind of go to every each and every corner, kind of uh, like connecting them together like this. All right, uh, and then you want to kind of flip over and do the same thing. So here, you know, again, we want to accept maybe, uh, well, maybe you don't have to do it at the entrance, but 
um, you know, just like once you start here and then you can kind of uh, just gradually, uh, like as you move to each square, you want to like connect the corners uh, to like the previous square, just like this. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about. It's a bit confusing, but um, once you get it, it's pretty easy. All right, so kind of just going to every, uh, well, actually, I, I probably just do those two sides there. But yeah, once you've done that, just kind of like, um, kind of go through, uh, make sure obviously that you can actually uh, finish the maze. So kind of decide how you want to um, do this, but just kind of like dig out like different, um, different paths and stuff really. So you can do that. You can block that off there. I can disconnect that. Block this off here. Maybe not there. But again, make sure that you can actually finish the maze. So I'm gonna. I'm just gonna come up with like a quick, easy way to like finish this. Um, just uh, like like maybe you can go through here and here, and then uh, go through here. I don't know. You know, obviously you don't want to make it this easy, but you know, just make sure again that you can actually get to the end of the maze. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the most important thing here, um, obviously, but, uh, yeah, let me see. I'm trying to figure out how I can, um, I don't know. I don't know. Just kind of like come up with different, uh, paths. Obviously you want to have numerous dead ends and make it even harder, um, you know, to really troll people. So, you know, that's going to be really funny, especially over here. You want to maybe have like numerous dead ends here and then maybe this leads into here uh, maybe there's another path that leads that way maybe there's like a block here uh, I don't know just kind of you know again just kind of go through here really just come up with different again just make sure that you can actually finish the maze that's the most important thing and then of course I want to make sure no one can just go straight to the exit here so yeah gotta make it nice and hard you know um, but yeah, and then of course, uh, actually it wouldn't make sense to probably, wouldn't really make sense to do it there, but yeah, we can probably do one, like, you know, if you're going through here, you can kind of go through here and pretend, oh, no, we can't go that way, you know, so again, like I said, just make it, you know, as hard as you can, um, you know, this shouldn't take too long, you really just gotta like, you know, just kind of make it, again, just as hard as you can, it really, it really doesn't have to be too, too hard, but yeah, and just kind of knock out some blocks and block some stuff off, you know, just kind of so kind of like here you can maybe troll people by uh, getting them into here, maybe thinking, oh yeah, this is the end here, but no, it's not there. Uh, and then maybe, I don't know, maybe have like an entrance here and then it like wraps around here and then you got like another one here, kind of goes through here. I don't know. Makes sense. Uh, just again, just really, really, uh, really try to make it as hard as you can. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the, but yeah, that's basically, yeah, that's like the whole idea with this, so. And then, yeah, um, and then maybe over here we can block that off as well. Um, yeah, perfect. All right. Oh, we should probably line that up. That makes a little more sense. There we go. There we go. So I'm not going to do too much work on this, but that's, that's basically, that's a good, uh, it's a good thing. So let's just make sure, obviously, again, make sure you test it, make sure you can actually complete it. So to get through this maze here, you'd have to go through here, go through here, go through here, and go through here. I think I'll make it harder. I'm actually going to block this off right here so that you're going to have to go a different way. Um, and then maybe you have to go through here, and then maybe this is blocked off here, so then maybe you have to actually go through here, and then maybe this is blocked off here, so you can't go that way. So then, uh, of course, again, make sure, all right, oops. I don't know. I don't, again, I don't want to spend too much time on this, but... Uh, but yeah, again, and then you kind of like go through here, and then you can actually go wrap around here, and then, uh, and then that just goes all the way to the end there, like that. Oh, sorry, I'm like trying to, I'm trying to make this as hard as I can, I don't know, but basically that's what you want to have for that. Um, might even do this. There we go, alright. So yeah, that's basically, that's a pretty basic rundown of the maze. It's not the same as the other one, but it's still, it's still a maze, nonetheless. All right, now once you're finished, uh, you can, uh, once you've confirmed that you can actually get to the end, uh, first of all, I wanna go ahead and put signs at the ends here, letting you know which is the entrance and which is the exit. So here we have the entrance, so I'm just gonna say like enter, uh, like that, and then you, yeah, it's stupid. I hate the new uh, the way you have to like write signs. You have to hit enter uh, before you actually, uh, um, uh, submit it, which is so annoying. 
yeah, and then of course exit right here. You have arrow pointing to it, so there you go. All right, and then of course simply just raise all of these uh, leaves up by three rows. Uh, again, just to make sure no one can just jump over the walls and see where they're at. Now this maze actually does look pretty hard, um, so I don't know, I might actually have a hard time with this. But yeah, so it doesn't matter how you do the maze, uh, just make sure, I mean, you know, you know, just make sure, you know, it's, you can act just the only, just mainly the most, the most important thing is you can actually get to the end. You obviously, you know, don't want to trap people in it, so, you know, that wouldn't be very fun. That kind of takes the fun out of it, you know? You want to actually be able to get to the end, that's always the best part, you know, so. But yeah, so this is literally super easy, so I'm not going to do this on camera, but yeah, just uh, extend all the leaves up. Alright y'all, once you have extended up all the leaves for the maze, that's the maze 100% completed, so good job with that. Uh, so now let's actually go ahead and take care of the, the entrance here, kind of get that finished, and then we'll go ahead and make the ticket booth. Uh, so actually, we can go ahead and get rid of all this. We pretty much don't need any of it anymore, so, um, yeah, we don't need any of it anymore. We'll grab new stuff here, so, uh, all right, so the first thing we're going to want to grab is, of course, pumpkin. I mean, that should have been obvious, right? Uh, lantern, and then sea pickle, all right? You're going to want any kind of wood, plank, and then slab, uh, any kind of door, and then any kind of, like, flooring, a chest, uh, a torch, and then that's not even all of it. Uh, we need glass pane, we're gonna need sign, we're gonna need tickets or name tag, whatever. And then item frame, of course. Uh, and then we'll also go ahead and grab uh, the stuff for the porta potty. So iron door, uh, quartz slab, and then light blue concrete. Uh, which we'll go ahead and make the porta potty. So you can make as many of these as you want, but basically just right by the entrance here, you just put uh, just one block away from the fence so that it doesn't connect to the fence here. You want to put two uh, light blue concretes up to the top like this, iron doors in front, uh, and then smooth quartz slab. Uh, of course, you can't actually go inside the porta potties, but you know they're just meant to. You know, it, it get, you get you know, you know you get the idea. They're meant to be toilets. Um, but yeah, and that's the porta potties completed. So then um, let's go ahead and make. The science so was going to grab pumpkin, sea pickle, lantern, oak plank, oak slab, oak door, gray wool, um, glass pane, um, and then go ahead and grab the torches as well. So first off on the sign here, you basically want to put, uh, just at the very top front here, you want to put a pumpkin, and then uh, just at these bottom corners here, you want to put pumpkins as well. At least I think that's how you do it. Let me double check. Yes, all right, perfect. All right, and then you just want to put sea pickles on top. These are meant to be stems uh, for a nice uh, sign. And then you can simply just put uh, lanterns all up uh, on top here to really illuminate it, especially if it's nighttime, so it'll illuminate it quite nicely. You can even put uh, lanterns around the fence and stuff if you want, but I, don't, I won't be doing that myself. All right, now for the ticket booth. It really, uh, there's not like a specific place for it, but I would recommend it to be uh, somewhere like, mm, um, I would probably put it like right here. So just like, um, it's so like, so where the fence is here. So like, like where the, I guess where the grass ends here, you can just kind of like one, two, three, leave a gap of three and then, uh, leave a gap of two or sorry. We want to put like three rows of planks here, extend forward and connect. And then at the back here, you want to dig out, dig out the flooring, gray wool door. At the back, you want to put planks, and then, um, and then just some torches here as well at the back. Um, uh, oh, and you actually want the front of this to be blank so that you can actually uh, put tickets through it. But then, and then just top it all off with slab. Alrighty, and then um, also put some torches at the front here as well. Um, and then what you can do is you can put oak sign, name tag, and item frame. So the sign goes on the front here, uh, or, oh, never mind, no, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it actually, um, actually, yeah, no, I think it uh, goes on the ends here like this, and then this is where you can just put a price. I'm just going to do the same as I, oh, okay, I'm, I seriously do not like this new sign thing. You have to hit enter if you want to just put one word, it's so stupid. But yeah, um, seriously, I hope Minecraft gets rid of this, it's honestly terrible. All right. Yeah, you can put the prices on the sides, and then you can just kind of put, like, item frames with tickets on it, and then you can put one on the front here as well, just to kind of give the idea that you're, like, giving a ticket to the people. 
and then a chest in here to store all the tickets or the money, whatever. Um, it's meant to store all the tickets, but you can use it for money as well. But yeah, and that's just the ticket booth, pretty simple little ticket booth. Um, but yeah, that's um, yeah, that's basically the the very front of the pumpkin patch completed. So now, yeah, so we have the front and the back of the pumpkin patch. Now we just gotta do like the the actual pumpkin area and then the um, the barn as well. This is gonna be a very long tutorial. I apologize, guys. We're not even ha we're I guess we're sort of halfway done, but also not really. So yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of all this stuff now. All right, just to really kind of clear our palette here, I guess, if that makes any sense. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and make the pumpkin patch area. So we obviously want pumpkins, hay bales. Uh, you can grab spruce trap doors if you'd like. That's optional. Uh, and then you want to go ahead and grab oak trap door, oak sign, oak slab, oak fence gate. Or not coarse dirt. Gosh darn it. Stupid thing. I meant fence gate. Oh my. Okay, seriously game. Oh my goodness. Just want to grab coarse freaking fence gate. How hard is that? All right. Um... And then for the truck, you want to just go ahead and grab spruce fence gate, um, and then we basically have everything already here, and then we can grab the oak stairs, um, and then go ahead and grab black concrete, button, lever, wither skeleton skull, item frame, um, go ahead and put that back, there we go, uh, and then we already grab buttons, uh, glass pane, we'll grab gravel, oak pressure plate, black stone button, and then we'll also grab some snowballs. So we grab snowballs, uh, dark oak sign, I hate when it puts it up into the thing, so annoying. Uh, and then I think that's actually it. Hang on, did we grab stairs? Yes, we grabbed slab. Yes, we grabbed, uh, did we grab the actual plank block? No, we didn't. Okay, so we'll need that. Oh, it's just slab. Okay, never mind then. All right. Oh, and then of course the back as well. We need the uh, tail light, so block of redstone. And yeah, that's it. Alright, so that's just for the little uh, farm truck. You can make that a different color if you want. Um, actually, you know what? Yeah, that's actually what I'll do. I'll probably make this a different color. Um, again, you guys don't have to do this, um, but I'm just doing it because I just, I don't know, I don't really like the the... What is it? The wood. So, all right, I'm going to just do dark oak planks. Oh my gosh, come on. Stupid game, I swear. All right, um, all right, and then we just need this, and then this I might just grab, um, or never mind, never mind. Oh, gosh darn it. Gosh, seriously, guys, I hate this. Just want to get this stupid tutorial done. Good lord. All right, and then we need the stairs. Now, you guys don't have to do this again. I'm just doing this because I don't like the the oak. You can do any kind of wood you want. Um, I think that's everything, right? Hold on, let me make sure. I'm just going to pull this back in here. Yes, perfect. All right. All right, so for the all right, so for the pumpkin patch area here, I guess we're just going to call it that. The pumpkin, hay bale, and then the uh, spruce trap door. Actually, no, 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 no. Let's make the let's make the uh, let's make the carts first. That'll just make sense to do that first. So so yeah, let's go ahead and do that first. Um, yeah, all right. So for this, you're gonna need um, stuff I've already grabbed here. So you want your fence gate, dark oak, or your trapdoor, slab, sign, pumpkin, and hay bale. You wanna come to either corner, really. It doesn't even have to be in the corner. It can just be anywhere. Um, but I, I feel like it makes sense to do it in the corner. So you basically just wanna put uh, a trap, two trap doors, two blocks away from each other, just like this, and then leave a gap of two going towards the other side here. All right, and then just do um, dark oak wood slab, and then this should be okay. Good. Just gotta make sure that you can actually place pumpkins and hay bales on it without it floating, because you know it's how slabs like to be. And then you just want to put some fence at the end. All right, and then some signs at the end as well, uh, just to really give detail. Uh, and then I think you do it at the back as well. I'm just gonna do it at the back because it makes sense. All right, that's like the sides of the cart, and then. Uh, you just uh, stack some pumpkins on it. It doesn't matter how you stack these, but you know, definitely put a good amount on there. And then there's the first cart. Let me adjust here. Sorry, guys. I was like falling out of my chair. I had to adjust. All right. And then you can make another one on the other side. You can put as many of these as you want. It doesn't matter. But um, yeah, just again, uh, make it the same way as the other one. If you need help, just look at the other cart or simply rewind the video because. Um, it's pretty easy, um, but yeah, it's definitely a little time-consuming, I'll be honest. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and put the, the ends of the cart here. And then, um, see, so yeah, I like these little carts. These are just, you know, obviously you notice at pumpkin patches, they'll have all these little carts full of pumpkins and stuff. So I figured this was a nice detail for the thing. Um, and then again, just stack some pumpkins and hay bales on it. I wish they had different colored pumpkins. That'd be quite nice if they had that. Instead of just orange, they had like white and like you know, other colors, like, I guess yellow pumpkins, I don't know, I don't know if that's a thing, but I know there's white pumpkins as well. All right, once you've made those two carts, uh, what you want to go ahead and do is, um, now we're going to start making the stacks of pumpkins, so we're going to kind of go around the edges, uh, just so we have enough room for the, actually, speaking of the truck, we should probably go ahead and make that first, so it doesn't really matter where you put it, just as long as it's, like, in the middle, all right, so go ahead and grab all of your wood materials. So that'll be the dark oak wood, or sorry, the wood stairs, wood slab, wood block, uh, and then just like a gate of some sort, um, item frame, or yeah, glass, and then snowball, uh, redstone, and then I think dark oak sign as well. We're gonna, we're still gonna need a few more materials. Oh, and we need black concrete. Actually, go ahead and replace the snowball. Grab black concrete. Replace the redstone with the button. All right, so now, first things first, again, just kind of try to find the middle of the pumpkin patch here, or, yeah. All right, and then you want to put a black concrete, and then I think it's just um, four, okay. So going towards the back, you want to do two slab, but going towards the front, you want to do four, two, three, four, block of black concrete, and then dark oak slab, or any kind of slab, like I said at the front just like that all right and then extend to the other side by three two three and then you can just actually just go ahead and fill all this up but obviously make sure you put the wheels first on the other side oops before you actually put the slab just like so perfect and then you can just go ahead and put the buttons on the wheels while you're here all right um all righty and next uh what you want to go ahead and do you want to put two stairs on the sides like this Alrighty, and then just item frames at the ends here like this, and then you can go ahead and put... I'm going to do a different colored sign. I definitely recommend you do a different colored sign, so just so that it, like, contrasts a lot more. So, like this. See, this looks a lot better than what Dark Oak would have looked. Um, so, yeah, then you want to do the same thing on the back here, and then you just want to put uh, item frame at the ends, and then you want to go ahead and put... Um, I think it's... Oh, jeez, I can never do this right. All right. Uh, let's see, how many, uh, how many gate is this? Why am I not running? Here we go. Uh, four. Okay, so four fence at the, uh, back. I said gate. I meant fence. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, and then you just want to put a row of planks at the end, and then you want to extend up and put glass at the back here, and then you just want to extend this, oops, extend this forward, extend this towards the back, and extend back as well. You can go ahead and fill that up. There's not going to be an interior. All right, and then you can just go ahead and fill that up as well. All right, and then just go ahead and put spruce planks there, but not at the front, because that's where we're going to put the grill. Um, go ahead and put um, buttons on the very ends here like this. Those are going to be door handles. All right, and then you can go ahead and put stairs at the end of this at the back, and then just put slab extending forward like that to give a nice shape. All right, and then you want to go ahead and put item frames on the doors here. These are going to be where we put pumpkins. Um, so, yep. Alrighty, and then, uh, you want to go ahead and put, uh, or go ahead and grab lever, pumpkin, block of redstone, snowball, um, and just any kind of random block, and then wither skeleton skull, oh my gosh, why? Uh, just like that, alright. Uh, you can also go ahead and grab hay bales as well, um, and then just put pumpkins and stuff at the back of the truck. Um, it's like pumpkins, hay bales, all kinds of stuff at the back there. I'll make it look nice, alright. All right, and then just uh, in the item frames here on the sides, you want to put pumpkins. Uh, oh, and also go ahead and grab the gravel and blackstone button. Uh, put gravel in the two middle blocks, and then put blackstone button on the front. Uh, front um, item frames, you want to put snowball. The back, you want to put uh, redstone block. And then, um, oh, and then on the sides here, you want to put black concrete or just any sort of random block. And then you want to have some skull, like wither skeleton skull facing inwards, and then delete the block underneath, just like this. And then you want to put lever underneath where the block was, and that's going to be your mirrors for the truck. Very nice. And then you can also go ahead and grab a pressure plate of whatever 
material you're using for your truck and then just put that on top of the hood and it kind of looks like Mater reminds me of Mater from Cars which is pretty cool but yeah and that's the uh, that's the truck pretty uh, it's a pretty cool looking truck so all right so now what we just need to do is put pumpkins and hay bales everywhere so this is pretty simple so pumpkin hay bale and then uh, as an added feature, you can put some trapdoor. So literally what you want to do with this, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just, you know, put stacks of pumpkins. These can be neat. These don't have to be neat, but um, I'm just going to kind of put some like stacks of pumpkins here and then just kind of at the end here, I may do the same thing like right here. Uh, make sure they're, uh, you know, if you're doing like neat stacks, you know, kind of make them the same if you want, but... Uh, and then also, you may, may want some hay bales. These don't have to be like straight or horizontal. You know, you can be randomized because they're really just randomly placed anyway. So, uh, yeah, and then you can just kind of throw some pumpkins in here as well because a lot of pumpkin patches will have like hay and then just some pumpkins on them. So that's what this is supposed to be. Um, but yeah, and then just, again, just stack some hay and then put some pumpkins all over it, make it look nice. Uh, pretty pretty cool there we go um, and then we might actually put some pumpkins at the end there there we go see that looks super good all right and then again you want to just do this all the way around uh, and then also for this um, the trap doors you can just kind of put around the pumpkins if you want them to kind of look like they're like in like a box or something um, so that's what you can do there uh, I might do this over here as well you don't have to do this this is optional but it definitely adds detail uh, kind of makes it, you know, because some, I think some pumpkins are also kind of like in boxes, or they're like on like, me um, oh, what are they, like wood planks kind of thing, so, so that, that could also represent that as well if you want, but, but yeah, and then again, yeah, just throw some hay bales everywhere, throw some pumpkins everywhere, it, it does not have to be neat, they're never ever neat, you know, they're not just like neatly organized, you know, but you know, they're just, they're always thrown around, you know, so it's not supposed to look neat at all. Alright y'all, so once you have uh, placed all of your pumpkins and hay bales, again, just put random stacks of hay and pumpkins. It doesn't matter how neat or organized it is. You know, it's just supposed to look all randomized. But yeah, once you've made that, that is the whole uh, pumpkin area completed. So literally all we have to do now is make the barn and the inside the barn and then the stuff around it. Uh, I know this is a very long tutorial. I know it's like, I think we're at like 30, 40 minutes now, so... Um, yeah, so that's pretty long, but I mean, kind of expected it to be long, you know, it's, you know, we're making a whole pumpkin patch here, so. But yeah, so now, uh, first thing, so the things we're gonna get now, we're actually gonna go ahead and build the barn itself. So go ahead and grab red concrete, white concrete, uh, go ahead and grab, uh, oak trap doors, you can actually go ahead and grab the flowering azalea leaves now. Uh, go ahead and grab quartz stairs, um, oh, what else do we need? Oh, and then just any kind of flowers, doesn't matter. Um, oh, and then grab grass, uh, pa dirt path, because we're going to do something with the podzol. Um, and then that's it. Or actually, no, actually, yeah, go ahead and grab, um, what is this, pillar quartz block. Yeah, make sure you grab that as well. All right, so now, uh, let me just make sure I know, Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, wait, eight. All right. So first things first, uh, so you should have, um, so in the middle here, you should have podzol and then your uh, planks, your uh, wood planks at the end. So, so there should be three rows of podzol all the way around and then wood planks in the middle. So at the very corners of the wood planks here, uh, you want to go ahead and put um, one pillar court block just to kind of mark them off. And then you just want to extend them up by seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these are all going to be eight blocks tall. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. All right, so once you've done that, um, you can go ahead and... Um, so just connect the sides together. So not the front and back. So the front and back is going to be like where the pumpkin patch is and then where the maze is. So... Um, the other two sides you just want to go ahead and connect together with white concrete. It doesn't matter because you're not going to see it because of the stairs. Um, so yeah, that's what you want to put there. All right, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and do the sides first just because it'll be easier. So you want to go ahead and just put red concrete. You can actually just go ahead and make just like a red concrete frame in here. It doesn't matter how you do it, but just kind of put a whole frame, whole red frame in here just like that. 
All right, and then you want to extend red concrete on the left and right, just like this. All right, you want to leave a gap of four, two, three, four. All right, you want to put, and then I think it's two, yeah, two rows of red, gap of four, three, four, and then you want to do two more of those, and then you should have a gap of four as well here. And then in each of these gaps of fours, you want to basically make a white frame, just like this. And of course, I forgot to grab glass. I don't know how I forgot to grab that. But yeah, you want to go ahead. Uh, we don't have to grab it right now, but uh, we'll probably grab that later. Um, but yeah, so then you just want to go ahead, put those there, all right, and then that'll be the side of the barn. And then you literally just want to do the same thing on the other side. So again, make a red frame on the side here. So just like this, all right. And then you want to extend the red uh, inward by one on both sides. Gap of four, two, three, four. And then you want to do rows of two, two, three, four, and then rows of two, just like this. And then you want to do white concrete uh, frames again in these uh, gaps of fours. And then these are, of course, you guys know what these are, but these are going to be the windows. Um, and then uh, on the front and back uh, are also going to be the same. Uh, not as the same on these sides, obviously, but. Uh, they're going to be the same in the sense that you know there's you know they're they're both identical. I don't know. Um, all right. So now for the front uh, and the back, uh, really doesn't matter which one uh, you start with. Uh, you want to go ahead and do what is this two, four, six. All right. So you basically on both sides you want to do six red. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you can go ahead and extend this up until it reaches the um, the top of the pillar here like this all right and then you can go ahead and make a f just makes basically just make these red frames it's always easier to make frames when you're making a building because then you can just fill everything in all right okay and then next um, uh, you also want to go ahead and um, uh, it's the same as uh, last time oops wait looks like we didn't do this right hang on one two three four six seven oh it was eight okay never mind so sorry so you actually want to do eight i should have i don't know how i didn't i should have counted that better so eight so you actually want to extend an eight instead of six and then just make the frames like this all right uh, and you can actually go ahead and do the same thing on the other side as well so one two three four five six seven eight uh one two three four five six seven eight and then um and then the gap in the middle is going to be where the entrance is, obviously. So, yeah. And then, and then now you can actually uh, extend the sides um, as well. So now it's now it should be nice and even on both sides as well. Okay. All right. And then again, so once you've made your frame, you want to put two extra rows. So similar to what we did on the sides, where we put like the extra rows on the sides of red, like the extra rows of red on the sides. That's what you want to do here in these frames. You just want to put another coat of red, just like that, and then, um, and then you can go ahead. I think. Hang on. Uh, one, one, two, three, one. All right. So yeah, and then at the tops, you actually want to coat with red as well. So just at the very tops here, fill this up with red. All right. So we have. Oops. We have red here, and then red here, just like that. All right. And then you want to just put um, frame all this up with white concrete inside here, like this. All right, so again, with the windows, you want to just do a white concrete frame. Uh, this is a pretty nice little barn design. Again, I will be using the same barn design when I make a, uh, a farm, so that'll be pretty cool when I make that. But, ah, uh, geez, I just can't wait to get this tutorial done, guys. Oh, my goodness. All right, there you go. So once you've done that, um, let's see. So now all we got to do is put... Um, basically literally just put white concrete on the ends here so like um so literally just make them as tall as the windows here on both sides so just up until they reach uh like the top of the window like this um just like that and then you just want to connect at the uh the top just look just like this i don't know why i'm talking dumb but yeah, anyways, uh, and then you just want to put like a row of white at the front that extends um, off the sides by one, and then you also want to uh, extend this back by one as well, just like so. Alrighty, so again, just extend this back by one. This is just the, the entrance into the barn. 
and then you just want to put um, a row of uh, of that right there at the front all right and then you can go ahead and put uh, or extend the red concrete at the top here like this just to kind of smooth everything off all right or just to kind of really like fit that in you know alrighty and then um, see how tall is this one two three four five six okay so that's gonna be six blocks so basically the way you want to do this is so it's basically so like where we have these uh, white concretes here you actually want to go in by one and then at the top put white concrete so where we have the white concretes at the end go in by one and then that's where you want to put the white concretes and then you want to do the same thing here so literally just like you know inward from each uh, side of like the white concrete is where you want to do it so like so where this white concrete is, is where you want to line that up here, and then go in, that's where you want to line it up, and then, of course, I forgot how tall it is. Jeez, alright, uh, let's see, three, five, oh, wait, six. Alright, then you want to extend them up by five, because we already put the first block, so that's one, two, three, four, five. And then just extend that up, alright. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And extend up, alright. Alright, and then uh, just at the top, really, I guess you can just... Um, yeah, so literally at the top, you can actually just connect together um, at the top. And then you want to put the same um, white concrete row as we did at, uh, where the doors are. So you want to put row white concrete at the top, uh, like at the front, um, and then extend off uh, the sides by one. So when you connect this together, extend out by one, but then also extend out the sides by one like this, just like that. And then that's going to be the windows. Uh, and then you can actually go ahead and put the, uh, the trap doors uh, on the sides in here. I know this is a bit time consuming, but you know, once you get it, it's pretty cool looking. But yeah, these are just uh, you know, just kind of just a, a nice uh, nice little design that you know some barns have. So I kind of looked up like pictures of barns, and this is something I saw. So, but yeah, um, and then once we get um, all that done, this shouldn't. Yeah, this is very time consuming. You gotta do it to the 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 big windows as well, like the windows above the doors. Not the side windows or these windows, those are going to be glass, but these big windows at the top, you want to do the same thing. Luckily, these, these ones are only like one row um, instead of two rows thick, so it's not as not as bad, but it's still extra trap doors you still have to place, but uh, it's better than just placing glass because, you know, barns don't always have glass, you know, they're mostly, you know, they're not all glass, you know, there's different stuff than just glass, but... Um, but yeah, that's the uh, that's the trap doors there. Alrighty, so now what we should do now is we should start to make the roof. Well, we got to shape the roof first, of course. Now, of course, I have no idea how to do this. <laughs> All right, so there should be a row of. I have no idea what I'm doing. All right, so I think what we should probably do is we should probably. Um, yeah, okay, so I think I have an idea. So basically, extend the red concrete all, all the way to the, the end here, just like this. And then just as each row goes up, it gets shorter, just like this. So it just kind of makes like a pyramid shape um, as it gets to the top. All right, and then just as it gets to the top of the window, you actually want to, I think you actually want to keep doing this until until there's how many rows above these windows here. Yeah, so you want to keep going until there's two rows above these top windows, so you just want to do this about one more time. And there we go. Alright, and then you want to do the same thing on the other side. Alright, again, until there's two rows above these uh, the top of the big windows here. Alright, so that's what we're going to call these, the big windows. We have the small windows and we have the big windows, because that's literally what they are, so... So yeah, then you can kind of, you can definitely see the shape of the barn coming together, so... Again, you want to do the same thing on the other side, so just at the top of the, so starting from the top of the pillars, uh, and then the rows just get uh, gradually smaller as they get to the top, just like this, pretty simple. Alright, and then it's going to be one row above the window, and then two rows above the window, alright. And then, all right, this is the last part, and then all we got to do, now this part I'm actually not going to uh, completely do on camera, because that's going to, it's going to take forever, I'm already spending so much time in this. This video is already long enough, you know, so. All right, and then once you've done that, that is gonna be that. So now what we can do now is we can finally top this thing off. So put uh, court stairs on the sides and of course extend out the front by one with the stairs. 
All right, and then that's what you want to do. You want to kind of you want it to like overhang the top here just by one. All right, and then as you go up, you want to put upside down stairs uh, at the backs of like the overhang parts here. So, um, so yeah, it's just right here is where you want to do it. And of course, we did this wrong. So, all right, so I guess of course we did this wrong. So I guess we have to actually delete the red concrete as we're going up. So yeah, because of course we did this wrong. All right, so these should have been shorter. So actually, yeah, you want to chop off the red concrete off of the ends here because of course I was I, of course it's hard to make these roofs without making some mistake it's it's so stupid but oh well it's not a huge mistake all you gotta do is just knock out some blocks you know it's not like you're tearing out the whole building you know alright and then simply again just put the uh, uh, make sure those stairs overhang by one row and then at the bottoms of the overhang you want to put upside down stairs all right, just like that. And then you just want to do that all the way around. And then once you eventually get to the top here, so the top will be, I think it's about right here. I could be wrong though. Hang on, let me double check here. All right, so this is the, uh, let's see, so that's like two blocks away from that. Okay, yeah, no, we did that wrong. Okay, so, all right, yeah. So, all right, so, yeah, so once it gets, once you get to this point right here, uh, you literally just want to put slab. Of course, I don't have slab. Uh, you want to go ahead and grab quartz slab. We're gonna need that. I don't know how I forgot that. I grabbed. I forgot so many. I, I forgot so much stuff. You literally just want to put slab at the top there. So that's what you want to do at the top of the barn. And then of course you still want to put upside down stairs where the overhangs are. So yeah. And then just do the rest of the roof. And then of course connect it all together at the top. And then that'll be the building of the barn. And then actually also go ahead and do the windows. Go ahead and grab white glass pane. And then just fill in all of these windows. These small windows, not the big windows, obviously, and not the doors. Uh, so anywhere there, where there's not trap door, just go ahead and fill that up. And obviously the one anywhere where it's not the roof, of course, uh, you want to go ahead and just fill these up uh, with the white glass paint, and then of course finish off the roof. All right, y'all. Once you've uh, finished the roof of the barn and made all the windows, um, what you can actually go ahead and do with the dirt path uh, in each of the corners of the podzel here, you can actually round this off here just like that. Um, just so like just like delete this and then delete the two on the sides and then fill it up with the grass or sorry the dirt path and that just kind of rounds this off a little more makes it look better um, and then I think that's actually all that there is oh no looks like I did it a little more so you can go back a little uh, more actually so uh, make sure there's like three blocks of like space in like the circle instead of two here if that makes any sense, hopefully you guys understand what I'm talking about, but... Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, no, I, oh, okay, sorry. I thought I, uh, thought I was about to do it wrong. There we go. All right, let me just make sure. One, two, three. Yep, okay, good. All right, so, also, uh, with the red concrete, uh, you see these white concretes in here? Uh, we probably should have just used red concrete instead, so just uh, remove that and put red concrete. Um, another minor mistake, but nothing, nothing major. It's funny how long this tutorial's been. I haven't made super major mistakes. This is, well, to be fair, this is pretty easy. Uh, also, with the dirt path, you can go ahead and make a path that goes into the barn. Um, I mean, it makes sense that you would do that. Obviously, also here with the, um, yeah, just make sure, like, there's, um, yeah, so just put dirt path all up in here, just like that. So, that, or, yeah, dirt path. Uh, I have red concrete here, so I have to put wood, but. But yeah, make sure, I'm sure you guys would already have wood there, but yeah, just make sure it's uh, just behind the, the trap door, make sure it doesn't go past the trap door, the dirt path does, because then it's just going to get into the barn and then it doesn't look good, so. Alright, and then uh, flowering azalea leaves, simply just put uh, at the front here, and then at the sides as well, just between the pillars like this, so just don't go past the pillars, um, and then that'll be your leaves on both sides, uh, and then on the... Um, the left and right sides, you can just go ahead and put flowers or whatever. Um, I'm not going to do like a pattern of flowers. I'm just going to put like one side dandelions, the other side poppies. So, so yeah, this should be, this shouldn't be too bad. But yeah, that's, that's basically what you want to have for that. And then that's, that's, uh, oh, I forgot a bush here. Should make sure you got all the bushes everywhere, but. Uh, but yeah, and then that's the that's that part done. So uh, next, what you can actually go ahead and do is put all this away. Go ahead and grab hay bales and jack-o'-lanterns, as well as 
uh, uh, red concrete powder, head, oak fence, and then birch buttons. So with the oak fence, uh, you want to go ahead and put these at the ends here with a concrete powder on top, head, fence on the sides, and then birch button. Those are meant to be, that's meant to be a scarecrow. I know it looks kind of terrible, but I did the best I could. Um, so you want to put like four of these scarecrows on each of the corners here, just like this. Really provide some decorations um, to the building, um, or well, to the outside really, but yeah what you want to put and then you want to just put open oh, on the top on the sides darn it there we go uh oh my gosh i'm doing this so poorly there we go um and then yeah that'll be that and then what you can do then is just um on the front the front and back here you can just put some hay bales and then just top it all off with some jack-o-lanterns uh make them look real nice just make it all like fall themed in here just or out here just because you know especially in front of the barn they'll usually have like pumpkins in front of it, especially jack-o'-lanterns, so I figured you put that. You can also put regular pumpkins if you want, or like um, carved pumpkins too. Um, doesn't have to just be jack-o'-lanterns. I put jack-o'-lanterns just because, you know, it's like different, you know, it's not like, you know, it's not too, uh, you know, I don't know. It's, it's just it's not too basic, I guess. I don't know. That's what I guess that's what I was trying to say, but there we go. But yeah, that's, uh, that's basically what you want to have. I wouldn't put too much, you know, just really make sure to keep it um, nice and, you know, I guess not too bad, I guess, I don't know. And then grab soul torch, torch, spider webs, um, soul lanterns, um, and then go ahead and grab item, or sorry, um, armor stands. And then you can go ahead and grab a skeleton head, wherever that is, I have no idea where that's at, of course. And then grab chain armor, just all kinds of chain armor. So whether that be, so just the pants, uh, shirt, and boots, you want to go ahead and grab those. Uh, you want to put just two armor stands on the front of the barn here. The the ones closest to the entrance, you can actually kind of tilt in like that. Um, just, I don't know, it just makes sense. Kind of greets you to the entrance. All right, and then these, um, these can be skeletons. Uh, the chains kind of look like bones, so that's why I'm using chains. Um, chained uh, armor just looks like bones. So that's why I'm using that. I like to use these for fake skeletons as well. These are meant to be fake skeletons, obviously, but... Uh, and then, yeah, and then put soul lanterns underneath these parts here. Oops, not there, right there. There we go. Um, so just underneath, like, the ends of this part here, you want to put soul lanterns. Uh, soul torch and regular torch just altering on the windows. Oops. All right, just like that. And then just, yeah, just above all these windows here you want to do... These are just some fancy lights... To really decorate the barn for Halloween. Obviously, you gotta really make sure this place is decorated for Halloween, obviously. So, so yeah, um, just some fun little. These are meant to just look like, again, just some Halloween lights. Uh, makes the barn. It also just really just looks nice, you know. So, all right. Um, and then spider webs. You can just kind of put these up in the corner. These are, of course, fake spider webs. You wouldn't, these wouldn't be real. At least I hope they wouldn't be. <laughs> But yeah, these are just, you know, they're meant to be fake spider webs. You can put those up there, um, make them bigger, smaller, whatever. Um, but yeah, you can even put some along here as well if you want to, but I'm, I'm just going to put them on the fronts. Uh, yeah, just because, you know, I don't want them to be... I definitely make them kind of different shapes and sizes just so, you know, they're kind of meant to look like they're all, like, randomly hung, so... But yeah, and then that's, uh, that's pretty much, um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much that. Um, so now all we gotta do, um, we can go ahead and get rid of all this stuff now. We can go ahead and grab a pump, a carved pumpkin, and then just any kind of armor, doesn't matter what kind. Um, yeah, or actually, I have a better idea. What if we grab water bucket, cauldron, um, all of the leather armor, and then purple dye. What if we did that, huh? Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, or actually, let's do orange dye. Let's do orange dye. You can do purple dye. You can even do both orange and purple, but I think I'm just going to do uh, the... Um... Alright, so first things first, you can go ahead and put carved pumpkins on armor stands. If you didn't know that, now you know. Um, so yeah, because you can actually wear uh, carved pumpkins, so... So yeah, and then dye the leather tunic orange, or well, all the leather stuff, not just the tunic, but 
Uh, you could also do like alternating like orange and purple or just purple or like one is purple, one is orange, two is purple, two is orange, three is purple, one is orange, you know, just whatever you want really. Um, and then yeah, that's just uh, that's just kind of like a pumpkin character. I don't know, it's not meant to be anyone specific, but but yeah. And then uh, I also have a banner letter tutorial linked in the description. Basically, just grab um, black or sorry, not black, purple banners, uh, and then orange dye, and then spell out the word Halloween. And then just on this part here, you want to basically spell it out. So H A L L O W E E N, and then it fits perfectly in there. There we go, Halloween, and then you want to do the same thing on this other side, so H-A-L-L-O-W-E-E-N, Halloween, there we go, very nice, um, decorate that. And now to make the pumpkin banner, um, so what you're going to need, you're going to need black dye, um, orange dye, and then green dye, so that's what you're going to want, and then of course you're going to want a black banner and a loom. Alright, so place your loom down, oops, oh my gosh, what am I doing, guys, oh my gosh. Alright, you want to put black banner and then green dye, and then you just want to put the middle vertical row of green, just like this. Uh, bring it back up, but this time grab orange, and then fill up half of the bottom half of the banner with um, black, or sorry, with orange. And then bring it back up, and then grab black dye, and then just uh, chop off the top with the black, just like that. So like the top row is black, and then do a black frame just like this and then that is your pumpkin banner and you don't have to use black you can use any other color you can use like light blue or whatever but black you know since it's Halloween gotta have like a spooky color you know so and these are just some pumpkin banners you can slap these all over the place if you want doesn't matter <clears throat> sorry my voice is dying um, doesn't matter where you put them but but yeah and then that's pretty much the entire outside of the pumpkin patch 100% complete so now the only thing we have to do guys is just to uh, make the inside of the barn, and then, yeah, that's it. That's going to be it for this video, thankfully, because this video is already super long. Good God, yeah, this thing's already, like, I don't even know, like, I know it's, I know it's like, over an hour long, but... Alright, oh, looks like we have some more... Actually, yeah, let's actually finish off the decorating here. So grab cobweb, grab soul torch, grab torch. Um, you can also grab the pumpkin banners if you want. Um, and then... Um, if you want, you don't have to do this, um, uh, you can go ahead and grab the, the banners as well. So let's go ahead and finish off the decorating, so, um, just put some torches up in here. Um, it really doesn't matter how many you put, or, well, I guess it does, because you want them just above the windows. Um, but yeah, you can just kind of slap these all through here. I guess I should have done this before, but I didn't know you, we actually should have decorated the inside as well. I don't know how I didn't just think of that. Just decorate the inside, but yeah. But yeah, and then you just do that. Um, and then yeah, that'll be that. And then just some spider webs in the corner, just like on the outside. Uh, again, make them different shapes and sizes. You know, it really doesn't matter how you do it, but yeah, it's literally just like kind of doing that. There we go, put another one up here, you know, all these little fake spider webs and stuff. Uh, and then you can put uh, pumpkin banners on the sides of the doors here, just like this, or you can put more, you can put like pumpkin banners all along the doors if you want to. And then of course, um, just like one block out from the door here, you want to say H-A-L-L-O, oops, looks like I forgot the other two banners here, uh, W-E-E-N, and then that should be perfectly even. I want to do the same thing over here, so H-A-L-L-O-W-E-E, -E, and then N. And there we go, that's Halloween on both sides, so yeah. Um, right, so now, now that we can get rid of those, let's go ahead and grab, uh, we're going to go ahead and make the, these lights up here first. So we're going to grab spruce planks, oak fence, chain, and lantern. Alright, now the way to make these is you want to come inside the barn, well they should already be in the barn in the first place, but... You want to just put uh, rows of spruce wood planks one block away from each other, and then, oh wait, actually, how far down from the ceiling do they need to be? Hang on. Uh, okay, yeah, so it actually wants to be one block down from the, uh, so it doesn't want to be connected to the roof like this, so it actually wants to be, like, just right here, so one block from the roof is actually where they want to be, and then you want to just extend these all the way to the very end here oops just like this alrighty and then yeah literally just connect all the way to the end and then 
Uh, the next thing you want to do here is you just want to put oak fence uh, along the bottom here. And you don't have to use spruce or oak, you can use any other kind of wood you want. You can use dark oak and birch, that would actually look really good. But again, just use whatever kind of wood. I'm just using spruce and oak just because they, they, look, they look really nice together. Alright, and then of course I forgot um, how spaced out the lights need to be, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think it's, oh yeah, it's like one block. Okay, so, alright, so leaving a block at uh, the ends here, basically, oh, I forgot to do this part, I don't know how I forgot that, but let me make sure, yeah, make sure you do all the things here, so gap of one, fence, 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 alright. Uh, Alright, and then you can kind of alternate it too, so like, where there's a gap of, uh, where there's a gap, there's a fence on the other one, so kind of like this. Uh, that would actually look really cool if you did that. Oh, jeez, I can't do this right, here we go. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, something you can do. Um, I like, I actually like the idea of just alternating it, I think I'll actually do that. Um, but yeah, you just do this, and then you want to put chains, uh, on the lights as well. And then, yeah, so literally, alright, I'm not going to do all the lights, as this video is already long enough, but basically, and then you just want to put um, chains underneath each of the fence, so you want to do, so the fence that, not each of the fence, but like the only the ones that are extended down, like this, where you, you want to put the chains, just like this, alright, and then, um, and then you want to put lanterns underneath, just like this, so, um, yeah, I just put some lanterns underneath the chains, oh my gosh, I can't do this just like that alright and then you just want to do that for all the lights I'm not gonna do all this on camera this thing this video is already long enough so so what you've so what we've done here you want to do for all of these rows alright y'all once you have gotten the lights done uh, we can now finally get on to like the decor or well, not the well we just did the decor <laughs> I mean like the tables and all the activities and stuff in here so uh, to start off we're gonna make the food table so basically the way these the way these work is that they're in line with these three windows here so pretty easy uh, so literally two blocks away from these this window you want to place uh, wool as wide as the window and then just right in front of the windows basically just like this and then you want to extend forward by one two three four so it's just a big um, uh, table here it's just now obviously it's wool since it's meant to have like cloth over it um, you know since a lot of like um, events you know they usually have tables with like a white cloth or something over it so pretty cool uh, and to really uh, oops wrong one <laughs> to really give that effect you want to have white banners around this so it's just meant to like the me the the cloth kind of going over the table I guess that's kind of what this is supposed to be but yeah you want to do this all the way around just like this all right and then uh, you want to do this for all three tables here Alrighty, and then, yeah, so all these tables are going to be the same, so the way we do it on one table, you're going to do it to the other. So at the ends here, we're going to have blue and red candles, these are meant to be the bottles of, or I guess cans of whipped cream, because, you know, if you notice, like, Weddy Rip, or, sorry, Ready Whip has, like, red and blue cans, so that's what these are meant to be, so... Uh, and those are like multiple cans as well, so you can do, like, red and blue. I was originally going to do white, but... I figured uh, red and blue made a little more sense because, you know, um, you know the ready whip cans are like, oops, like that, so, oh jeez, what am I doing wrong here, alright, oh jeez, I still need to put blue candles over here, alright, so yeah, just throw a bunch of these all up in here, um, make it look nice, alright, uh, and then in the middle you want to put uh, just a bunch of uh, cakes, these are meant to be whipped. Uh, these are meant to be pies with whipped cream on them. Uh, that's what those are meant to be. And then just at the ends here, you want to put um, pumpkin pies in item frames. So these are just unfrosted, uh, or I guess unwhipped. I guess like just pumpkin pies with no whipped cream on them. That's what those are meant to be. So yeah, just a whole pumpkin pie table. Makes sense because it's a pumpkin patch. So. But yeah, so that's that. Uh, so that's the food tables completed. So now we can actually go ahead and uh, put these away. All right. Uh, now go ahead and grab um, um, carved pumpkin, and then grab a uh, regular pumpkin, and then you also want to go ahead and grab um, shears. If I can find them, there we go. 
uh, item frames, uh, and then dark oak stairs, stone stairs, and then dark oak, um, what is this, dark oak sign. Uh, oh, and you also actually want to go ahead and grab um, iron pressure plates, and then um, pumpkin pie again as well. I know we already grabbed that before, but uh, we're going to need it again, so... Alright, so first things first, so basically from, uh, so we're gonna make the food tables like where you, well, we already made the food tables, but like, we're gonna make tables like where you eat the food, so basically, um, this one's pretty simple, so it's literally just the three middle blocks of the doors, so, uh, but basically we're gonna start from this, uh, the end of this food table here, so where we have, like, this very corner here, uh, we're gonna leave a gap of one, two, three, chair, gap of one chair, or I guess stone stairs, really, uh, and then two blocks in front of those, we're gonna do the same thing, put the stairs, Gap of two going towards the other side. You want to do stairs, gap of two, and then stairs in front of it. Just like that. So you want the stairs to be facing each other like this, and then gap of two. And then it should be nice and even on all sides. And then here is where you want to have, uh, so like in front of the stairs, uh, you want to just have, um, now this is going to be kind of tricky, but the way this wants to work is, um, you may have to do this on the ground or something. You want to have upside down stairs like in front of the stairs like this so you kind of want it to be um sorry about that voice crack goodness so you kind of like so that's how you want the table to be it's like the upside down stairs are like facing the state the the chairs like that so that's what you want to have for that um so this is going to be kind of tricky we're going to do this for all the tables um so yeah it just makes the table look good um yeah so like once you have one stair you can just do the rest it's pretty easy so that's the good part all right, and then once you've made the tables, uh, you basically want to put uh, item frames with pumpkin pies uh, just along the middle here. All right, just like this. And then just some weighted pressure plates on the sides, like just in front of the chairs. These are just meant to be plates, so pretty easy. And then, yeah, that's the, those are the uh, tables for the like where you eat. All right, and now for the tables for where you carve pumpkins. Uh, you want to leave a gap of four, and then put a stone stair, gap of two, stone stair. You want to leave a gap of two, or sorry, gap of four, uh, from the, the the previous stone stairs on these tables. So you want to do the same thing for all of the stone stairs. So a gap of two between the, the stone stairs uh, for the carving table, but then you want the tables to be gaps of four from each other, like the uh, the carving table, the eating table. Want to be gaps of four from each other. So that's basically what you want to do. So it's like from this eating chair, you want to leave a gap of four. Uh, carved chair, gap of two, carved chair, and then again, gap of two in front of the chairs. Uh, so they're literally just as wide as the other tables, so you literally just want a gap of two in front, um, like in between the chairs like this. And then literally just the same as all the other chairs. So all the, all the tables should be nicely in line like this. Alright, and then the same way we're, oh, and actually with the dark oak sign, I forgot about this, you actually want to put dark oak signs, uh, at the ends here, just like this. Now you don't actually have to do this, but it adds detail, um, so you don't have to do this, but... You know, it definitely looks good, so I would definitely recommend it. You know, if you want some extra detail. Um, now, obviously, you can't put uh, signs on the sides of the chair. You can do it here, but not over here, um, like at the eating table. So I probably just wouldn't recommend doing it at all. Um, and also, by the way, the reason the stairs are, like, the chairs are gray is because these are meant to be, like, those uh, those gray, like, foldable chairs, you know, those metal foldable chairs that every event has. You all know the ones, I don't even have to describe it, but yeah, it was just those foldable chairs. That's what these are meant to be. They're just some typical foldable chairs. Um, and then, yeah, so that's, yeah, you want to make, again, you want to make the tables the same way as you did with the eating tables. Um, and then, again, you want to put, uh, let me see, I do the other side, yes, I did. Alright, you want to put the signs at the ends like this if you want to, of course. Um, Again, this is optional, you don't have to do that, but, because I know it's a bit, you know, it's time consuming, and it kind of adds extra work to it. Um, but yes, yeah, so then just, again, make the tables like this, um, and then just put um, signs at the ends like this, so, literally, it's not like, it's not, it's not like we haven't done it before, you know. Alright, and then, what you want to do next, is you want to basically put, like, one carved pumpkin and then a regular pumpkin, and then you want them kind of diagonal on the other side. So it kind of looks like one pumpkin is carved and the other one is not. So that's kind of the whole idea here. Is yeah, you want like one pu one pumpkin is carved, one is not. One's one's not carved, one's carved, you know, that's what you want to have. So you want to have like pumpkin here and then a 
uh, pumpkin here, and then carved and non-carved. That's what you want to have. Uh, and then just in every uh, space here where there's not a pumpkin, you want to put item frames with shears on them. And then that's what you want to have for these tables. And these are obviously the shears you can actually carve the pumpkins with, um, which is pretty cool. So it makes it more, oh, makes it realistic. Uh, you can actually, like as you can see, you can actually carve them. So pretty fun. Uh, so yeah, um, and uh, yeah, believe it or not guys, that is actually the entire pumpkin patch finally completed, so yeah, uh, go ahead and get rid of all your materials. Of course you can always add more decor in the barn, but this is all I'm going to add, especially because this video is getting way too long now. But yeah, that's it guys, so yeah, we're finally done with this whole thing. Uh, happy Halloween everybody, because I'm pretty sure you guys are watching this on Halloween, so I hope you all have a nice happy Halloween. Um, Comment below if you've ever been to a pumpkin patch or if you went to one this year. I didn't go to one, but I know my family did. I just chose not to go. Um, but yeah, so just kind of a break breakdown, just a really quick breakdown here. We got the ticket booth, we have the entrance, we have the parking lot, we have the porta potties, we have the pumpkin area, we have a little truck, we have little trailers, uh, or I guess carts around the area. We have uh, some decor around the barn, we have some eating tables inside the barn, and some food tables with pumpkin pie on them. We have tables to carve pumpkins with. We have the other side here which has just hay bales and pumpkins and then of course we have the maze here as well at the back so yeah very very nice pumpkin patch. I think it turned out really really well um, and hopefully you guys like it as well but yeah um, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did smash like subscribe um, turn on notifications so you don't miss when an awesome tutorial like this one comes out and anyway guys I'll see you all in the next video.